Hello guys, B2 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your webcomic site using WordPress. And we will accomplish this without writing a single line of code. So if you're not familiar with HTML or CSS or PHP, don't worry. This is the tutorial for you. I will walk you through the whole process step by step and hopefully by the end of the tutorial you will, you will be able to publish your webcomics to your website and have something looking approximately something like this okay um but before we get started i just want to go through a few prerequisites for this tutorial first off i'm assuming you have already registered a domain name for your website i'm also assuming you have purchased a web hosting plan with wordpress already installed now if you do not have either domain name or web hosting I recommend Bluehost. Now, if you use my exclusive affiliate link, um, you can get one free domain name and a great discount for the web hosting. I'll provide a link to that in the description box below. The great thing about Bluehost is they make it super simple to install WordPress on your website. So I cannot recommend it enough. Another thing I want to make sure you have ready before starting with a tutorial is your comics. Okay. Ideally, you should have both a thumbnail image. So this will be used for uh, both on the comic listing in the home page and for navigating through your comics on the comic page. You also, of course, want to have the main images for your comic. So if you look here, I've already created some comics for uploading here. Um, ideally, they should be um, at least, I would say, 800 pixels in width and any height you want, um, depending on the, the panel size for your comic strip. Um, the reason we want it so large is to make sure it's optimized for mobile devices. One last thing. For this tutorial, we'll be installing a couple of items. One, we'll be installing the Tucheke WordPress theme. Now, this is a free WordPress theme that I created specifically for web comic creators. It has a lot of cool, unique features. It's mobile friendly, highly customizable, and has a variety of layout options for both, uh, for both your web page and your comic. In conjunction with the theme, you are going to also need to install the Tucheke Companion plugin. Now, this is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for publishing your web comics. Uh, we'll provide a download link to both the theme and the plugin in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. Um, first off, let's always, let's see what the website looks at, like on the front end. Um, this is what it should look like in the front end. Um, depending on which web hosting service provider you're using. Um, uh, by default, the web host will install a couple of WordPress themes for you. And there's usually a Hello World post that shows up on the home page. We'll be replacing the default theme with the to check it theme. So if you look here, if you go to appearance and themes, you notice that they've already installed three themes, three WordPress themes. Uh, the 2019, 2019 theme is active. Okay. All right. So first off, we're going to go to the admin panel, which is where we are right now, the WordPress admin panel. Go to appearance, then click on themes. Now you're going to have to install the to check a WordPress theme. There are a couple of ways you can do that. You can either do that using the WordPress.org themes button here. That's usually what is there on the in Bluehost, uh, but if it's not Bluehost, it's most likely going to be the Add New button over here. Or you can do it over here, Add New Theme. 
then what we're going to do is search for the theme so just type in to check it and it should be the first one that shows up then go ahead and click install now we're not going to activate this theme right now what we're going to do is install what is called a child theme now a child theme why do we need to install a child theme a child theme ensures that you do not lose any changes that you may make in terms of customizing your theme the theme that you've installed uh, maybe if uh, to check is upgraded or updated it and we make any new releases for to check and you do not want to lose any customizations that you may make so a child theme is always advisable so the good news is um i've created a child theme for you i will provide a download link to the child theme in the uh, description box below all you have to do is download it and install it um so once you've downloaded it come back here um, and all you have to do is upload the theme what you're going to have to do is upload the zipped file it will be a zipped file that will be downloaded upload the theme either by clicking the button here if you're not already here just go to appearance and themes then upload theme then browse then locate where you saved the saved to check a child theme and I had already saved it here. Open. Install now. And go ahead and activate. Okay, so it's installed. Uh, next, we will install the to check and companion plugin. Now, one thing you're going to notice is after the to check a WordPress theme has been installed, there's a notification window here already asking you, prompting you to install the to check a companion plugin. So, all you're going to have to do is click on this begin install plugin link. Click on that. Click install. um and then you're going to have to activate it so to do that to return to the required plugins installer click on activate and you are all set you should be ready to start publishing your comics but before we do that let's see what kind of changes we have made to the front end of our website so head on over here this is what we had before uh, hit refresh there you go so it's beginning to take shape um, so let's now start posting our comics um, one thing you may have to do is refresh uh, your window here just to make sure plugin sorry let's go back here yep click on dashboard once and make sure your comics menu option is showing up here okay okay so to start before we start publishing your comic uh i'm going to be assuming a few things i'm working on the assumption that you are posting a vertically formatted comic now, vertical scroll format is a layout most popular on websites such as Webtoon and Tablets. So, I'll just show you an example here. So, for example, this comic um, called Millennials on Webtoon. If you click on one of, her, of the comics, you'd notice it's in a vertical format. Okay. 
same thing for tapas. Tapas also uses this luminotes. Like this is a vertical scroll format. Uh, it's becoming more popular for most webcomic hosting websites because it's it, it seemed to be really ideal for mobile devices. So, um, but if you prefer a traditional horizontal layout, you can do that. I'll cover that in a future tutorial. But for now, just know we'll be publishing a vertical scroll format comic. Um, also, as I mentioned before, make sure you have created a thumbnail for each of your comics. At least 70 pixels wide and at least 70 pixels high. This is going to be used in the comic listing section on your home page um, as well as the comic navigation section on your comic page. Um, also make sure the comic image that you're going to be uploading is at least 800 pixels wide, a really large image uh, just for, for mobile devices. You want to make sure that it's optimized for mobile devices. Now, given that it's going to be a very large image, I would recommend slicing up your comic. Uh, this will not only improve the reading experience, but will also make the comic very responsive to mobile screens. So just make sure you, when you slice the image, uh, the, your comic image, just make sure it's the same width and same height. All the slices have the same width and same height. Um, and I will add a link to a tutorial on how to slice up an image in the description box below. Okay, let's publish a comic. So all you have to do is from comics, add new. And then type in the title of your comic. Then you're going to upload your comic, the sliced images for your comic by clicking the Add Media button. And then we're going to upload the images for your comic by clicking Select Files. Then I don't know where your images are saved. Select the images, all the images. These are my sliced images. So this is panel one of the comic, panel two of the comic, and panel three of the comic. Open. So you see the, the three sliced panels of the comic strip there. And then click on insert into post. Okay. Then one more thing we need to do, we're going to have to upload the thumbnail image. So to do that, we're going to use this the featured image feature for the comic post. Uh, just click on set featured image, upload files, select files, then already created a thumbnail here just click that and then set feature, featured here okay so when you're ready just hit publish and that's all there is to it um so just to make sure the changes have been taken effect add an over to you front end of the website and let's see if the comic has been published. Let's hit refresh and there it is. Um, see there's the thumbnail image there and when you click on the comic on the thumbnail there, there is our comic. And notice that the thumbnail is also here. This is the comic navigation area. If we had a whole bunch of other comics you'd notice it this whole row would have thumbnail images of your comic okay um so let me just go through that again just to make sure you you got that add new you can either click it from here on the left hand side or from here click add new enter the title of your comic
click on add media upload files select files select all the files open This is going to take some a bit of time because the, the files are pretty huge. Two more to go. And there we are so just insert into post okay and then add the thumbnail image so upload files select files add feature image and then publish okay let's see what it looks like on the front end okay let's go back home and there it is so what two comics are there and if you click on the thumbnail of the comic there you see the comic shows up there and the thumbnails are there so you can use it for navigating between your comics so you can click on that it shows up there okay that's all there is to it you should have a fully functioning wordpress web comic site hope you enjoyed the tutorial and feel free to ask me any questions you may have in the comment section below i'll be happy to help where i can I also plan on making a few more tutorials on customizing the look and feel of the to check out theme so if you have any suggestions for tutorials you would like me to to give just feel free to let me know and i'll have be happy to add them to the queue otherwise happy tuning <laughs>